Okay. Uh, so yeah, the not banner is finally here. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not, not much else to say. Uh, I made a video yesterday, funnily enough. It's like in my hard drive somewhere. <laughs> Uh, on Epic 7 because I had thought I'd made it into Legend Arena and then I, I mentioned I was going to make this video <laughs> but uh, I made it into Legend I just didn't stay in Legend when the reset happened but anyway uh, here we are here's the uh, follow up video to that but that's fine I'll get published so you know who cares um, let me turn that off uh, so we're looking at basically not here um, just because for one she gives you the 7th slot for two I don't have any other better like units on defense all I have is um What's her name? Uh, Sothis. Uh, I'm probably gonna take her off and just put someone more useful there. Maybe just Plumeria or something like, or something like that, or maybe just another dancer. And it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, any anything but Sothis would be better in that slot. And the fact that I also just get another unit on top of that is good. Um, basically, she's probably gonna be in the same place as Saros is on my defense team. Uh, her ability to do uh, what, what's that thing? Uh, Pathfinder, basically just like uh, extending people's movement, is pretty good. Uh, it's gonna be pretty annoying fighting against maybe like like imagine like like take take a cav line where someone's running with her and then their cav initiates. She's got like uh, what's it called? A wings of mercy. She wings of mercy is kind of somewhere close. Uh, and then maybe some of your other horses can follow up and get one extra movement because they pass through her. And now, even the spots that used to be safe are less safe, right? So now, basically, the entire arena is taken over, right? That's kind of something to be, to be wary about uh, going forward, as you're going to see a lot of that now. Is um, That's going to be a little harder to set up, but I'm sure Accurus is going to come out with a video at some point explaining to you how, uh, how you know, at certain, certain angles and certain, like, positions, uh, some units can go in, get their HP down to half, and then... Um, set up for for not to just like move near them and then give you another window into like just you know sniping literally everything uh, so you know it is what it is you know uh basically aether rays is, has started to favor cav lines for a while now so it's nothing new but uh she'd be pretty useful on, on my flyer ball so you know i'm gonna pull for her um yeah so she's got a bonus doubler here now it really depends. Like I don't see a lot of aversas on offense. Like I don't think I've, um, you know, I think I've rarely ever seen an aversa on offense. But that's just because my flyer balls don't come with visible buffs. So one of the things that makes visible buffs useful sometimes is when no one else uses them. So if you're looking at a defense team and and basically no one gives out visible buffs except maybe one unit has like a menace or one unit has like. A, I don't know, just one unit gives out a buff, and that's, you know, maybe to one, and that's it. Uh, it can be very useful, depending on the unit that's getting that buff, because it's like, I'm not going to run an Aversa just to, to, like, hit one unit, right? Not always. Now, sometimes I run Aversa no matter what anyway, just because the minus three to everything is useful anyway. Um, but in a lot of cases, people aren't going to bring in a panic option, um, because just to stop one, you know, one unit's buffs, right? Um... And on your defense, it might be pretty good because if no one else is getting buffs and then she gets buffs and, and they're not panicking them, she's going to get buffed through the roof because of her, you know, her bonus doubler here. Um, this, I think we should, we should probably remove this or, or not, not necessarily remove it, just change it to something else just because it's not that useful. Um, I mean, it, it, you want like lower cooldown specials is the point I want to make there is you just want to hit someone and, 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 you know, as soon as possible. Um, maybe something like a Luna would be good or just a Moonbow. What else? Uh, this is pretty good. Uh, damage reduction with uh, half a low attack speed five. It's not bad. Um, uh, but yeah, so, you know. And then, the, of, of course, the new menace skills are, are kind of really strong. Um, as well as, like, not only does she just give herself the six, she also reduces six around there, which is pretty good um, for, like, survivability and whatnot. Because uh, basically, it's, it's like when you give out these debuffs, you're basically giving your entire party like plus six uh, defense and res at the same time, which is pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so this is, you know, we're pulling for her mainly, and then I'll probably make an update video on both my defenses, and we'll talk about Aether Raids and all that stuff, and, and, and the Flyer Ball and how that's going. Um, but these other two are basically useless. Uh, this guy doesn't have anything. Uh, this guy has this and this, which is fine, right? Uh, it's just a uh... okay. This, this one's worse than the other one, the, in the ideal skill, because this requires like this has penalties. 
It requires stuff from your opponent and then also defense res. That's kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so I mean, like I said, they're not that good. Um, a little attack defense is, is you know, pretty strong. Um, and you probably just want to take this menace skill. Though, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can't see. I don't know what you need to inherit to take that skill. Um, and of course, she's alright. But, like I said, I already got too many flyers. Like, I already have a plus six um, young Sheeta, right? So, like, this isn't really going to help me very much. And that effectiveness usually is a lot better anyway. Because um, you just one-shot somebody, and then she's got Vantage built in, so, you know. Uh, you, you could probably put Vantage on her and be, be solid there as well. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. We're, we're pulling we're pulling mainly for... for we're going to pity Dagger, uh, and if we get... Or Dagger. I'm just kind of <laughs> thinking about how the fact I didn't pull for Dagger when she came out. Anyway, uh, we're going to pity uh, Knot, and if uh, we get a Knot on the way, then that's cool, because we get more... Um, it's called... We get more stats, we get a merge, so, you know. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's just get in here and start summoning. Uh, so we're just going to summon the whole circle. It doesn't really matter what we choose first. Um, yeah, we'll see We'll see how the hell stuff goes. Uh, after this, I'm just going to save, just because... Like, Knot's, like, the most interesting thing here, and she does a lot, like... Just the fact that she's got Pathfinder and the fact that she can be a, a decent carry is pretty interesting to me. Um, but there's not a whole lot else worth summoning uh, these days, so you, you kind of want to save them anyway. Just because, for one, I have a, now you know apparently now I have a, a plus ten uh, Ninja Lin to work on to boost my to help with arena scoring and whatnot. Um, I decided to I, I've been using both. Uh, uh, oh, I forgot to do that. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like I was saying, uh, it's better really just to save right now. Um, so I'm just gonna pity her and go. Wow. Uh, so I better get the the pala in here, the new pala. Funnily enough, Tharja, I needed a speed Tharja because I went with attack Tharja, attack boon Tharja. Oops. Ah! <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. That's so sad. That's what happens when you're doing two things at the same time. I'm just gonna turn off this other thing. Um, uh, that was disgusting. So I'm gonna waste more orbs uh, than I had originally intended. Um, but yeah, it's really worth saving here. Um, like I said, I have a plus 10 pala I need to work on, and I have like... Um, Yep, I mean, basically, that's the main thing, actually. Um, as well as, like, just getting merges for Legendary Corrin, as well as um, Fallen Edelgard. Basically, Fallen Edelgard is, like, the main the main one. Um, uh, what's it called? Ninja Lin is, is more, like, arena stuff. And, as always, you know, arena is not something I'm, I'm too concerned with. I just want to make it as painless as possible. And with her, it's having, having uh, Ninja Lin should basically facilitate that, right? It should make it easier. Uh, so let's get in here and summon all these blues. Hopefully she's in here somewhere. A plus one knot would be pretty cool. Um, yeah. Another unit that I've, I've been building lately, um, I, tr I tried anyway, uh, as it turned out. <laughs> I don't actually have any copies of her, even though she's like a gen one unit. <laughs> she's been there since day one. I either fought them all off, or I just turned them all into feathers or something. I don't really know what happened to them. Um, but Fa or Faye, um, she's like at a plus two right now because I just don't have any copies. And I was looking through the barracks, and I apparently I pulled one earlier, so that's pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, that, that was hilarious to me. Is that <laughs> I wanted to make that unit, and it turned out I didn't, I didn't have the the resources for them. Um, so yeah, the one of the things is we're probably gonna get a lot of um, a lot of orbs and stuff coming soon just for like the the midpoint or whatever i mean it's not like that big a deal but oh look here's another one cool it's not like that big a deal but we're you know we're gonna get a few i think and and, and you know it's, it's good to save those uh going forward merlinus i don't know how this is gonna affect the overall orb count total <laughs> i can't believe i <laughs> 
That's well, it's because I was playing Epic Seven at the same time and uh, on my phone while I'm doing this on the computer. And uh, funnily enough, while I was doing my daily summon on Epic Seven, <laughs> and then uh, because I was distracted with this, and then this was distracting me, like each one was pulling me away from the other. <laughs> I, uh, I I spent bookmarks to I summoned another one on accident on Epic Seven, so I'm kind of pissed about that too. I don't know what's going on, um, but yeah, so. Another Foss, that's cool, so that's uh, two more merges. I think she's a plus five after that. Um, I just, I think she's kind of interesting. Uh, the ability to just give plus five to everyone for free just, just because is pretty cool. Um, it's really only useful in Arena, like in Aether Raids, it's not that useful. It's just, it's one of those things where it's like, I have more feathers than I know what to do with right now, so I'm just kind of building stuff. So like I'm building Winter Cecilia, I'm uh, building Fa for whatever reason. Um, and we're kind of bottlenecked by grails, so I can't like uh, boost. I can't boost like uh, you know. Of course, I, I like to just plus ten my my man. I like to plus ten my echidna, but I can't find any copies of her. Um, I'd like to plus ten my Hannah, but you know we need more copies. I'm at a plus eight right now. Um, what else? I mean, I like to plus ten my Patrine, but again, she's the same problem. Uh, we need grails. Uh, young Ennis. I'm probably not going to use him, but just having him there is probably good, but I'm not going to, like, he's, like, way down on the list because I'm not going to use him, right? Come on, not you're right here. No, she's not. Here we got Catrio. Uh, and then, you know, we'll hit Hey, it's Camilla. Yeah, funnily enough, I, like, I just, I just get every other green unit, but it can, uh, it's really weird. Come on, not. You know you want to be here. Nope. There's no greens here, so green is kind of a weird color to summon on. Because you're like, if you ever, if you pity on, uh, well, oh, he's green. I thought he was red. I'm kind of dumb. Well, at least he didn't break the pity, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, so just a kidna or like anything else is fine. Yeah, see, that's like the only green I need. Colorless, obviously you can't get anything out of colorless other than any of the, any of the colorless units I want anyway. Uh, you can't get them out of other than like later on. Uh, and our pity here is uh, getting pretty high without actually seeing a 5 star, which is kind of interesting. Uh, there's Kagero. And stop. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go one over just because. Um, uh, this is scary. There's a lot of green orbs in here and uh, you can get pity broken. So I actually do have the the um, Splendid Roy, Resplendent Roy, uh, but I don't I don't have him equipped. I don't have the the skin equipped because I really don't like the skin. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I think it's it, the artwork is fine if you ask me. It just it looks a little too feminine for my taste. Um, okay, so we got him. I think I'm just gonna leave just because there's two green ones. I uh, really can't be asked, or just that last green one, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna one more green one. Please don't, <laughs> don't pity break me. Okay, so we didn't get a five star on the way here at all, which is kind of weird. Uh, back and stop. So now I'm kind of like tempted to go back in. That's oh, ah, oh, dude, there's no way. There's no way. So I had like a four point seven five, right? Is this gonna reset the pity just because I I choose her? Because if it is, that's ridiculous. Uh, so here she is. Oh, dude, I'm gonna go back in there. I'm telling you, they reset it. My five star for this batch was probably in that circle of red orbs I, I accidentally skipped over. Um, so we're at 5%, right? Uh, do I really want to spend orbs? Uh, <laughs> Let's just go in there, I guess. I don't know. We're gonna get pity broken by the other guy too. Watch, this, that's what's gonna happen. Um. Oh, come on, please. You can't. You can't just give me like four orbs with a five percent pity and not give me her. We got ten percent chance. That's that's one in ten. Come on. How can these odds be so bad? You know, you just just give it to me, please. 
No! Uh, that's garbage. Come on. Okay, you know what? I will forgive the game if she's right here in this last one. Come on. Oh my gosh, I got two of them. Okay, that's not so bad. Um, like I said, uh, the mana skills are pretty good. The problem being that like this reduces their defense and res by six. That doesn't even make any sense because he doesn't have adaptive damage. This is something you'd probably give to like the new Pala because she has adaptive damage. So it's like, what's he gonna do with the minus seven, minus six to res? Like, I guess it's like the point is they're more supportive, so like other people can do stuff too. But like, I mean, come on, this is just weird. <laughs> Why did you give this to him? Uh, threaten defense res to um. See, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, someone can get all of these skills, I guess. Uh, someone will get... Yeah, so someone... One person... Well, I don't know. Two, one person can get Defense Res Menace with this. And then another person can get uh, this whole, like, catch skill line. Um, I'm not sure who's getting what, though. And I really don't... <laughs> At least I didn't spend too many. I could have gotten another 100 orbs and not gotten anything uh, back and stuff. Uh, well, you know, I got exactly, you know, as many as I needed some. Uh, I'll be right back, I guess. Uh, there's not a whole lot much. Okay, so a whole uh, mess of, of <laughs> follies uh, caused us to go lower than we probably should have. Uh, at 312, I probably should be somewhere around like 180 or something like that. Uh, after after all was said and done, but I went a little further than I was supposed to and I also uh, Messed up one of the rings um, Which I guess funnily enough like It's probably better that I ended up with him because him I was going to just fodder off because I really can't be asked to care um, But like her I wasn't gonna fodder her off because one she doesn't have that good fodder I mean she's got this which is pretty good. And so I'll probably give I, I would give that to a Versa uh, and then Maybe I'd probably give this to Aversa too. Yeah, I mean I probably would uh, just because um, Aversa already has Ardu Flying Five or Three, uh, so give her this and then just give her this as well. Um, I would write normally, but unfortunately because it's Pala and because I like the artwork and I like uh, the unit, I wasn't gonna fodder her off, so she wasn't gonna be very useful. She's just gonna sit in my barracks doing nothing. Um, so yeah, I mean now uh, I have to go rebuild some um, my arena or my arena my Aether Raids defense on uh, Dark Season, and uh, we'll we'll talk about it then and see see what that see how that's going and and, and what's going up with that. Uh, but like I said, more merges on her would have been good. Like at least a plus one, maybe like a speed boon would have been amazing. But <laughs> we we couldn't get that lucky. Uh, and I want to kind of point out something for those of you who've been watching a lot of these videos. I mean not you know. There's always someone who watches all the videos. There's like one view on all of them, and they're not me because I don't watch my own videos. Um, I have never gotten every time this pity thing has been here. I've never gotten the unit I wanted on the way to pity to get like a merge. It's really annoying, especially with these Ash ones. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but that's that's getting on my nerves. Um, because I mean, yeah, I don't know. It, like it'd be nice. Like it's, it's weird. It feels right. It feels like. They know the only thing you want from here is not, and they're just gonna like somehow shadow, you know, background reduce the chances of getting the 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 only thing you want from this banner, right? Like as you saw, I got two five stars in the same bundle, and they were both just this other blue guy. Like I lost the 50-50 twice there, and then on top of that, I lost all the rolls all the way up to the pity to get her, right? Like, what is that about? And I probably we can't say now for sure, but I probably had Pala in that ring of, of five reds, right? So, I don't know. It, it's one of those things just for, you know, if you however you want to sing it. But it feels that way to me. And, you know, maybe it's just, you know, confirmation bias or maybe it's just uh, uh, poor statistics and all that kind of stuff. Um, right, poor sampling, I just getting jobbed. But it really does feel that way. And, and I'm going to keep paying attention more going forward. But like, like I said... Going forward, even if it does happen more, it doesn't really change anything in terms of like prove anything because it's probably it's just more confirmation bias. Cause I'm just gonna be pointing it out whenever it does happen. Uh, we really need like a broad like sample size, but you know we're not gonna do science for a gotcha. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's that's it for today. Um, hopefully, you guys got better luck and you got a few knots on the way, and um, yeah, that'll be it. <laughs>